So I'm sure that a lot of you actually know now that in ERLC private servers you can actually change the uniform to be whatever you want for your private server's needs. So in this video I'm actually going to be showing you how you can do that so if you do enjoy it or if it helps you out then please do like and subscribe as it does help out a lot but let's get straight into this. Okay so uh, a few months ago I think it was now we got the new livery update where you could change the livery for any police vehicle or sheriff vehicle and you can change the colour of the fire vehicle. But what was also released in that update was uniforms. Now a lot of people know that I need to join the police team right now. But as I was saying, a lot of people actually do know that you can change the uniforms, but not too many people actually know how you can do that. So as you can see here, I have a little shirt that I was just experimenting with for this video to check it all works and stuff. So what you want to do is you want to go over to the avatar shop just here, as you can see, and then once you're there, uh, you want to go over here to clothing down here, and then you can go to shirts, t-shirts, pants, or all clothing whichever you want to do for I'll explain more about you know how you can do the shirt and the pants later um, but for this video we're just gonna search up police so obviously you can also customize your own here but I guess to start off with we can go with this a little British police uniform here so what you want to do is you now want to open up Roblox studio okay so once you have this open you want to open up Roblox studio if you haven't got this installed then obviously you need to get it installed and then you want to just create a new and then you want to create a base plate or classic base plate we'll just go with normal base plate for now so once your roblox studio has opened up you want to go to plugins at the top here and then you want to make sure you have this build rig uh, plugin installed if you don't then you can go and install it um, somewhere here I think it's in manage plugins and then you can add some more here so um, you can go and do that and as you can see down here it will take you there but I think this is actually a default thing that you do actually get um, like with any studio I'm not exactly sure but I don't remember installing this so uh, yeah but anyway when you when you click this it will bring this little UI up here you would just want to make sure you're on R15 and then press a block rig and it will bring this in here for you and then what you want to do is in the explorer over here where it says dummy you want to right click it you want to press insert object and then you want to add a shirt or pants depending on obviously if you want to do a shirt or the pants but we'll do the shirt because I opened up a shirt and then you just want to click on it here it will open up just here you want to click that and then you want to make sure appearance is actually down so you can click this arrow so you can see the color and the shirt template and then you want to go back to the shirt you opened click up here in the URL control C to copy that come back into Roblox studio and then paste that into the shirt template here and as you can see we'll put it on your little dummy here so this is what it will look like in the game and obviously you can do the same for pants as well so we'll go and do that so you can right click insert object and then add pants and then you can go over here, you can go into the uh, little thing, make sure you select pants if you selected shirt, and then you can search up police again. So let's see if we can find any British police ones here. I think this one should do this little British police one here. So uh, obviously you can click on that and then you can copy the URL once again, then go back into studio, then go to the pants one. It is both, they are both called clothing, but just look at the icon and then obviously paste the uh, template there again and as you can see it's not too great of a match but for this video it will do the job so uh, once you have that what you want to do is you want to click on either of them then you want to double click on this number here and it should uh, highlight it for you if it doesn't you can just select it manually and then what you want to do is you want to go back in to your Roblox game then you want to go to uh, where it says up here you are in a private server click here for more information then obviously edit server settings then scroll down until you get to the roleplay pack so obviously um, if you haven't noticed you do need the roleplay pack for this obviously the custom livery pack is for vehicle liveries and the roleplay pack is for custom uniform and then once you're here just scroll down right to the bottom it is right at the bottom of the list currently and then press edit and then it will bring up all of this stuff here so as you can see we've got police standard uniform police uniform with jacket detective SWAT standard for the sheriff and stuff so we have all of this, you can actually change the detective, you can actually change the DOT and the fire um, uniform as well which is pretty cool. But we'll just be doing the standard uniform for this video so you can paste that here and press save and then as you can see in the top right it will say server settings changed. And go back to Roblox Studio, click your pants or the other one if you have it, control C that once again and then go back into Roblox, open the custom uniform and then paste it in the pants one on the right there and then press save and as you can see it actually changes on here as well 
So it's instant if the uniform is already uploaded, um, then it will automatically load up here. Now, if you're uploading your own custom uniforms, um, then it's a little bit more complex. I recommend watching another tutorial for how to do that because I don't exactly know. Um, and then once you're here, if you press E to change the loadout here, you can see that it will load in here. You can press where, and then obviously it will put it on your avatar. So it's pretty easy to do, honestly, and it doesn't take that long. Um, shout out to this guy in the chat here, amazing boy021. Um, but yeah, so that is how you can actually change your uniform in ERLC to match your custom private server. So if you did enjoy this video, or if it helped you out at all, then please do like and subscribe as it does help out a lot. Remember to join my Discord server, mm -hmm. linked below, or using the code discord.gg amaze you can also go and follow me on twitter go on my roblox group and follow me on roblox linked in the description and if you want to support me even more then you can buy my merchandise or my donations in my roblox group or if you want to donate with real money then you can buy the new thanks option just next to the like button uh, underneath of this video but thank you guys so much for watching i will see you in the next one bye